Hi everyone. In this video, I'll show you how you can search for news within Google Colab. The way I'll do this is with an API called News API. And in order to work with this package, we need to pip install it and then import it into our Google Colab session. I'll also use ipython.displays iframe in order to display some of the web pages within our Google Colab session. Let's first review what News API is. And it is a simple HTTP REST API for searching and retrieving articles from all over the web. You can search for articles with any combination of the following criteria. Keywords or phrases, the date the articles were published, source domain names, and by different languages. You can check up the News API documentation here where I embedded it and at the bottom of the notebook as well. Let's move on. To, move, to work with the package, we need to register with News API to receive an API token. You can click the following link in order to register. And what we'll do is we're going to put in a first name, email address, we're going to set a password, and indicate whether you're not an, you're an individual or business. If you are a business, you'll have to take a look at the terms more closely. So I'll set that right now and fast forward through it. Here I have my API key. It's blurred out because as with all API keys or passwords, you shouldn't really share them unless maybe you're a business and there's a reason for it. But for the most part, as an individual, you want to keep this secret. So I am going to copy and paste this API key into my Python session when I access News API. Let's go back. And what I'll do is I am going to create a variable called API key. And I'll also use the input in order to get a prompt so we can copy and paste our API key into the variable there. What I'll also do is I'll create another variable called API. This We're actually going to use this in order to call a News API and bring the articles into Python. What I'll do is I'm going to call news API client. And then for the API key, I am going to pass in the input API key. I am going to copy and paste my API key here. At this point, I'll blur it. As always, keep your API keys and your passwords as safe as possible. I was able to successfully input the API key. It looks like we have access to it. Now let's actually get to searching. And there's really two main functions that we can search for for articles using the news API. The first is called the get everything function. And what this does is it returns all available articles re relevant to the given search term. The function returns a nested dictionary and lists out various attributes for the article including the author, content, description, published, date, source, title, URL, and URL to image. Note that the content is limited to 200 characters. What we'll do is we'll try to use iframe in order to print this out. Not all web pages will load into our Google Colab session using iframe. So sometimes you'll have to actually click on the URL and go to the web page in order to read it. Or if you're really inclined to and you're, you can code pretty well, you can create a web crawler in order to crawl that web page and bring the content and paste it into your Google Colab session. All right, so what I'll do is I am going to call everything, And for Q, you can think of that as the query or the search term. I am going to search for GPU. That is the search term or topic I want to learn about. And like I said before, we get a dictionary where we have all the articles. That's the first key. And then within there, we receive a, nest, a list of different dictionaries with the actual articles themselves. We can see that we have an author here, the content, description, the title of the article, URL, and all the other relevant information. And what I can do in order to print this out in a more legible format is I can create a for loop. 
And I can also, like we did before for a, our API key, create a search prompt. And I'll use input to do this as well. And for our search, I'm going to use a for loop. And first, I'll just copy and paste this code in here, and then I'll explain it. What I'm going to do is I am going to call the API.getEverything. We're going to pass in the search term, which I'll use GPU again. We're going to go into the first key, which is the articles. And I also want to print out the number of articles. So that is what this range function is going to do based on the length of the nested dictionary in there. We'll use zip in order to do this. And the first variable will be the article. So this will print out all the information relative to the article. And the IDX is just the index. And that will range from zero up until the endpoint of the range for the nested dictionary. So what I'm going to print out is I'm going to use string formatting. I'm going to print out the article number. And again, this will begin at zero and go to N. The title, I want to also print out the author the description of the article and the URL as well. Let's run this. Looks like we have 20 articles. I can scroll back up. And we can see all the articles here. We have a Verge article, Engadget article, Ars Technica, a few different places. And next, what I'll do is I'm going to call on iframe in order to see if we can print out one of these web pages here. So what this will do is this is going to grab the URL within this nested dictionary. I'm going to try to grab the first article. I'm also going to set the width and the height of the iframe that's going to be printed out. Let's see if we can run this. And this is an example of how sometimes that we won't be able to access a certain website. Let's see if we can grab another one. And it looks like we were able to grab this article from VentureBeat. And what you can do is you can use this iframe session to actually read what's going on in here. And this is going to pull in everything. We can see that we all also have a video that's playing in the background. Depending on the website, you may or may not want to use this iframe. What you can also do is you can also click on the URL if you're inclined to. So if I move up and I just go to The Verge, I can open this in a new link. And you can read the article from the actual web page itself. Moving on, we can also search for top headlines based on the news API algorithm. And this is similar to using Google where some of the most popular results will show up first and they'll get printed out. We can use the same thing for it. This is similar to the top headlines function here. So what I'll do is I'm going to call get top headlines for our API and the search term I'll use is iPhone. And like before, we can see that we have all of these different articles. In this case, we only have three because these are the top articles. We can format this in a similar way where I'll have another prompt. It will prompt you to put in a search term and I'll run iPhone again. And we have it in this format. And we can try to print out an iframe again. This time I am going to print out, try to print out this article one. I'll have the same height and width for the iframe. Let's run this. Looks like we were able to get the iframe to print this article out. So we could read this if we wanted to from Macworld. We can also search in different languages. I have a list of the available languages here, and it just depends on what news API is doing. This list isn't awfully long, but it also is a good amount of languages for most people. What I'll do is I'm going to create another cell here, and I am going to create another search. 
And I also have a list of these codes and these are called ISO 639 codes. And I am going to try a search term for different articles. This time I am going to use a nested for loop. And what I'm going to say is for all the languages that are available. And I also noted that two of these language codes I could not find any results for. So that's why I omitted them. We are going to search for that specific topic. All right. So searching for GPU, I have all of these various articles across different languages and most likely from different countries as well, given that they're from that they're written in different languages. And what I'll do is like I did before, I'll try an iframe and this time I'll try to get the first article written in French. Let's run this. And it looks like we were able to get this article. Moving on, we can also search top headlines by country. And I have all of the countries listed here that are available based on the news API website. I also have it saved in a dictionary, which you can access here. And the way that you can search by country is you type the full name of the country. You need to type it out exactly as it's listed here or else you'll get an error returned. Let's run this. And let's try to search for tech using the top news in the United Kingdom. Let's run this. Looks like we were able to return two articles related to tech, one on NASA and one on, it looks like maybe art and astronomy, or it just might be astronomy. I hope that this video was helpful. If you want to learn more, again, check out the news API documentation. It's very helpful. It can be a very useful tool if you want to just have a different news source other than Google or any of the browsers that you use. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, Twitter, and GitHub. If you like the video, feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks again, everybody, for watching and happy coding.